You like big batty gal? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not only have we seen a French village today, we've also seen Venice. Oh, oh look. Oh, the mist is cleared. You can't actually be scared of that. There's an eight year old girl on it. I don't know what's going on. A load of people went into a room and I followed them. Ah! Bye. Coming up, I was just picturing some T Rex who just come on and eat us. I've just ordered food. The grab driver's rang us and said he's outside. There's a fire alarm gone off. That's just not a fire. We're not gonna die. Where's he gone? Hello. They always go to the wrong address. Hello. Yeah. Sorry, we thought we were going to perish in the fire. Thank you so much. I'll leave you a tip in the app, yeah? Thank you. Have a good day. Wish us luck. We literally went downstairs, got our food, came back up, and people are just only leaving their rooms now. If that was an actual fire... Perished, gone, deceased, not here anymore, not with us. I hope it is a false alarm because it keeps going off. I tell you what, this pizza better be fire. Yeah. Do you get it? Because of the fire alarm. And I said the pizza better be fire. Because the fire alarm went off. Shut the f up. Do you get it? Right, good morning from Da Nang still. We're in a place called Barnard Hills now, which is basically an old French settlement built on the mountains, which in the war they abandoned. And, then, and now the Vietnamese have turned it into a, like a theme park sort of thing. We're gonna go check in now, go up there. To get to the top, we have to ride the world's longest cable car. And this was not cheap either. About 40 quid, which is a lot of money for Vietnam. There's enchanted music playing. Uh, I feel like I'm in a fairy tale, but there's people everywhere. I'm not mentally prepared for people. Yay, people! Ben in it because you're scared of heights. You are. Know oh, it's got glass floor as well. Oh, here we go. I had a dream last night that one of these crashed. <laughs> that was terrifying, we couldn't see anything for the past five, 10 minutes. That had to be about 20 minutes, didn't it? 25 minutes. That was ages. Well, this is great, isn't it? Where's the food place? Because I'm starving. Well, look at all the architecture. It's crazy. <laughs> is this the buffet place? Isn't this just a barrel of laughs, eh? This is a half-naked man statue. We're looking for the buffet place now. We've got absolutely no idea. It's not going to be down there, is it? Or is it? Is it that? Might be this. I don't know what all the fuss is about people wearing these raincoats. This is summer in Wales. The views up here are just stunning. Look at this. <laughs> at least we found a the restaurant and there's a bit of warmth coming out of it. We're just going to have to sit in here all day. Get our money's worth, lad. Just eat the whole buffet. Oh, I need a beer. Do they do beer here? Eh? I got me free beer so I wonder if I can redeem it here. There should be enough variety to where it's not just noodles we're eating. What are we supposed to do? It's freezing, mate. Do we just call it and go back? This is dreadful, this is not fun at all. Let's find a bar and get pissed. Yeah, gym pissed? What's wrong with that? Oh, this is peak. 
Wearing shorts and t-shirts as well, I'm not buying one of them stupid poncho things. I know, so this cost us about 60 quid, including the taxi, food and the ticket to get up here. Basically paid 60 quid to go and eat in a buffet. Yeah, and it, that was not good really, was it? Right, we need to cash our beer tokens in though at least. Two please. At least we're inside now. <laughs> There's like a, I'll have to show you, it's like an underground theme park fantasy place. This place is really weird. I don't know what this has to do with the, f I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just yapping. This is what I was yapping about. It's like, how do you explain this underground theme park thingy majingy? Like that probably. An underground theme park thingy majingy. But what a scam this is. Most of the rides and everything in here, you have to pay for. So it's cost us £40 to get up there and into the park. And then everything else you've got to pay for extra. That is actually jokes. It's not that funny. You're just, you're just scared of heights. If it's free, I'll go on it. But I'm not paying extra, I refuse. I just asked Ben if he wants to go on there. It's only a spiral thing. And he goes, oh, I need to see how high it goes first. Like we're not inside. It's not going to go higher than the roof, is it? Come on, get in the line. You can't actually be scared of that. There's an eight-year-old girl on it and you're scared. I didn't say I was scared. I just ate my dinner. He's actually chickened out. There's a five-year-old child excited in the queue and Ben's chickened out because it's too scary. Look, she's a six-year-old girl and Ben's like, nah, I'm not going on that. Not even on there? Yeah. It's not going to go anywhere. Okay. I can't have my GoPro, what's the point of going on it? Ben, I was sat in front... Yeah, I know, but I was sat in... I'm embarrassing you, lad. I was sat in front of a five-year-old girl. Lad! No ginger prick. I don't know what's going on. A load of people went into a room and I followed them. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on here, you've got to sit on this. Oh yeah! I think it's a 3D cinema thing. What? Got a gun? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the gun in one hand and the whole cell with your other hand. You shoot the cowboys. They literally don't let you film anything. Boring, what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna have to take it off the tripod and just sneak it in because I need to film something. This is free, you need to get Ben on this, but he's gone to the bloody wax museum because he's scared of the rides. I'm not allowed cameras on here, so I've got to be subtle with it. It's not even that scary. It's actually mid. I can't laugh. <laughs> and I, there's, there's no need to scream. There's no need to scream. <laughs> it's not scary. <laughs> At least the weather seems to have perked up a bit now. We've got to go and um, find a brewery so we can get our free beers. But it is pretty cool how it's just in the, in the middle of the Vietnamese mountains, a little French, not themed because it, well the French built it, but look, it's cool. And it's a London cab as you do. This place is actually quite magical with like a little bit of fog, so you can still see, but there's still that bit of mystical charm about it. <laughs> before it was brutal, you couldn't see your hand in front of your face. <laughs> it is mad how they just come up and built this in the middle of Vietnam. It 
it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Free beer, country music. <laughs> right, so Ben's not drinking, so he's giving me his beer voucher. You get two beers for the voucher, so I've got his to drink after these two. <laughs> Someone else has just came up to me and gave me this one. I'm going to be pissed leaving here. But I, ca I cannot turn down free beer, that is a crime. It's criminal, is what it is, it's criminal. They just asked me to take a photo and I've took a selfie. Is she not looking? If she sees it and just deletes it while even acknowledging me, I'm gonna cry. But I think she's just seen it and deleted it. That's it. Oh, she's gonna go, oh, so handsome, so sexy. Licking her lips, she must have seen it. Right, something has to be done here. You need to drink, or we're gonna be here all day because I cannot physically leave them. No, it is free beer. I cannot, I cannot leave that. So you're gonna have to step up, or you're gonna just have to stop whinging and sit here all day while I drink. That's six beers because they're only one each. Then don't win while I sit here all day getting fed. Yeah, no, you can no. You don't need it. It's cost me £60 to get a beer. I'm getting my money's worth one way or another. I'm already five down and I've got another five to go. So start supping with me and enjoying the vibe or stop whinging. Or you go back now and I'll make my own way home. There's so many! How has he got so many? Oh, bye bye! Yeah. It's free. I can't say no. My company. I think we're going in the loop here. Yeah, we need to go left. He's making this up. <laughs> yeah. If you want your brasses, go there. <laughs> Lots of brasses, yeah? <laughs> We're going to find this big bridge now with two hands and gold. Gold hands or gold something. I don't know. This place is so eerie. There's just a single piano in the middle of this room. No one in. What's going on? Please do not touch the piano. <laughs> it is creepy though, isn't it? Look, no one's around. Ben, you're breaking the rules. You're not supposed to be in this area. It's for special people only. Luckily for you, I'm very special. You're welcome. <laughs> He's not happy. How could you not be happy at this? Look. Look what I've brought him to. And he's sulking. Up more, what? I feel like I'm stuck in a loop and I can't get out of it. Can you go up more? This is bugging in my head. This is the floor we started off at. Is it just right? Instead of going down, we meant to just go right. We was, wasn't we? I think we were. <laughs> it's here, isn't it? Is this the cable cars? Thank you. Yeah, so we come up here, went up, went down, up, down. Oh well. So Ben. What would you do if I shook it? Not now, it doesn't have the same effect, does it? I wanted to do it before, but there was loads of other people in it. Look at that, just shot into the abyss. It, sh it shakes on them, them uh, I know, every time you go over the pylons. These on camera. That is scary. It is scary because it is white. You don't know what you're looking at. Like, I was coming up, I was just picturing some T Rex who just come out and eat us. It is some Jurassic Park. 
We're not fat enough for it. No, just it's the wind as well. You know, just sit down. Boring. Sad little man. I'm actually taller than you. I'm just a sad man actually, not a little sad little man. That is eerie. You've learned it's every time it hits these, you ready? Yeah. There's not enough people in it this time, I don't think. No, I didn't do it. Yeah, Ben, you've learned a new word today. Eerie. I said to him when we were coming up, I said, look how eerie it is. He goes, what does that mean? I said, like, spooky, but not spooky. You look like a giraffe. That's why you don't build like a big bean. This is what I have to put up with. It's like travelling with a three-year-old child. That's not mine. But I still got to look after him. You did rocks. Oh, we're here. Oh, yeah. We're here. Not as long as it first one. Oh, we're missing it out. He's going straight over it. Oh man, means we get to go on. Oh no, it doesn't. Because who the time is up for this? Jeez! Look at us on this bridge with this amazing view. Sorry, sorry, small man. Feel free to take a photo. Yeah. I'm taking lots of photos. Oh my god, look at this view. That's crazy. This is one of those things I was talking about, about the highly touristic things. Even if this was a clear day, this is still not worth it. This is mayhem. It's a big hand and a bridge. Love that. Sorry, I don't mean to moan. <laughs> I do appreciate what I'm doing, and not a lot of people my age get to experience these things. But it's just. <laughs> I don't like people. <laughs> At least I got a good view of it, me and this guy here in the plane. So it's like, why is people taking pictures? You can't see nothing. <laughs> it annoys me, it really does. I don't need to take a minute to appreciate what I'm doing and life and things like that. Oh look! Oh, the mist is cleared! <laughs> Quick, get your phones out! Just got poked. There we are, I'm done now. That's my little bit of spirit, spirituality done for the day. For the trip. <laughs> No, seriously, I do appreciate what I'm doing in life. I've just walked straight through a photo shoot. Sorry, man. <laughs> I do appreciate it. I know that not a lot of people get to experience this. And not just this hand statue, but, you know, traveling and seeing a bit of the world while they're young. And I love every minute of it. I just hate other people. If I was here by myself, I'd probably stand down and admire it. Like, wow, this is amazing. But I just can't deal with people. That's why I'm trying to do a little bit more, less touristy stuff. And I will, I will. I'm not trying to do it, I will. Not only have we seen a French village today, we've also seen Venice. Vietnam's full of wonderful surprises. Does this rain happen a lot? Yeah. The rain, does this happen a lot? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The rain. Do you understand me? Yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you like Big Batty Gal? Yeah. Yeah, oh my red, god. Big Red. Big Red. Big Batty Gal. <laughs> They're the best. Everyone loves them. Apart from Danny Lex boys. Hello, chicken nugget. What do you want for food? We're finished with our day. We were supposed to go to the gym. That was Ben's excuse for not drinking, wasn't it? I don't want to drink because I need to go to the gym. Yeah, but then we got home late. Ask him when he's going to the gym. No, ask him. When are you going to the gym? Tomorrow. So he missed out on all them free beers because he doesn't want to go to the gym. because he's a... I don't like beer. Who doesn't like free alcohol? Mm. People who like boys. You, because you give some of it away. Yeah, because Ben was sat there like this. When are we going home? I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh my god. I, didn't I wanna that. go home. I was sat on my phone the whole time. You're taking so long to drink this beer. When are we going home? Anyway, we're ordering food now and we're gonna eat the food in bed and go to sleep. 
If you like the video, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.